In the graph editor, you can combine different types of activities and operators to uh, create your learning scenario. First, we see here a menu um, that lets you add a new graph. You can copy the current graph, delete it. Um, you can uh, export a graph as a file and then later uh, import it from a file. You can also export to the server. The server is actually outside of the local server, so it's shared between all installations of Frog. Um, so you can look at what other people have created. And uh, here we can look at uh, uh, a graph that someone else has created. Uh, when you export a graph, you can choose whether you want to uh, make it uh, private, in which case uh, only you can see it. However, um, you should know that there's not a lot of security in our system yet, so you should not export anything that's truly private. Or you can make it public, which will uh, list it on um, the import of everyone else. You can uh, change some quick settings on your graph, like the name and the and the time that will that you estimate that it should take. And if we just look at this graph, you see this uh, little mini view here, and this is showing you a view of the entire graph. And what you're seeing in the workspace here is the zoomed in version. So if you scroll up or down. You can zoom down and you'll see that this box down here is shifting. You can also click on this box and drag it. Um, the, the first plane here um, is the individual plane. So that means that all the activities on this plane are going to be individual activities. The second plane are group or team activities. And all the team activities will need uh, some kind of a social grouping to be defined. Uh, all the activities on the third plane are teacher acti um, are whole class activities. Uh, these activities include the teacher and all the students of the class. And we have um, a fourth uh, plane here, which we call teacher task. These are activities that only the teacher sees. So this could be grading or classifying or uh, other kind of things that uh, the students are not involved in. So to create a new activity, uh, we double click where we want it, for example here. I can double click on the activity to rename it. Um, I can click on it to select it. I can click and drag to move it. Um, there's also some other shortcuts. For example, I can hold shift and I can move it up or down the planes with my arrow keys. Um, if I hold shift while I'm dragging it, I'm also moving all of the other activities. And there's a few other shortcuts that you'll see in the help menu. Once I've selected an activity, um, you see here that this um, status light is now red. That is because I created an activity called rename, but I haven't even said what kind of an activity it is. So this graph is now invalid. This red light um, will try to tell you when there are some problems with your graph. However, it still does not cover all of the possible problems. Especially, it is not able to detect um, problems with data transfer. So if you take two activities and you connect them together, or you connect an activity to an operator, uh, the graph is not yet able to detect uh, whether that will cause a problem. But it is trying to help you. To configure this activity, we'll open the sidebar, which we can do, you do by clicking W, or by um, hitting this switch. And this uh, sidebar, side panel, will let you configure any selected activity or operator. So if I choose an activity that has already been configured, we see here that it's a common knowledge board, has this title, and we can configure this activity type. And the configuration is specific to each activity type. So this is the configuration for a common knowledge board. Um, this is the configuration for a text component and so on. And the same goes for operators. Um, so I can now choose uh, to say that this is a chat. I can uh, then configure the chat. For example, here I will add a title. Please discuss. And I can now preview my um, activity as I've configured it. And here we see the title that I entered, and we can 
see how the chat works. We also have an activity library of activities that either you or others have uh, shared publicly uh, or you have shared privately with yourself. Um, so instead of choosing from these existing activities, we can go to the library and here we see specifically configured activities. Uh, for example, and you see here what kind of an activity. So this is a chat, this is a quiz, this is a timed quiz, and if I choose it, I see that it's not just a timed quiz, but we already have the full configuration. Again, I can preview this, and we see here that this is um, uh, a genealogy uh, exercise. So that was a quick introduction to the graph editor. Uh, the final thing I want to mention is the connections and operators. Uh, if you want to connect two activities together, you hover over the little um, circle until you have a cr crosshair. You click and you drag. I can also drag across this shaded field if I want to scroll the graph, if I want to have a very long connection. And you hover over what you want to uh, connect to, which gets highlighted in yellow. And you drop and you make the connection. If you want to delete that connection, just like you would delete any activity or operator, you can select the, the connection and hit delete. Um, if you want to insert an operator, um, you hit P for a product operator, S for a social operator, or C for a control operator. Again, all of these shortcuts are listed in the help text. After you've created one of these, uh, you will see that it appears under the cursor, and you then move the cursor and you click where you want to locate the operator. Note that the location of the operators makes absolutely no difference to how the graph runs. The only thing that matters is what is the incoming connection and what is the outgoing connection. So if I now hit Shift and I drag this, this makes absolutely no difference. This is only visual to um, reduce clutter. Similarly, the space, the empty space between uh, two activities does not make any difference. However, if two activities overlap, like so, the graph editor will first only show the, the first activity, then both activities together, and then the second activity. Um, when you move activities, you see these lines which help you determine whether the activity is overlapping or not. So by selecting any of these operators, we can choose their type and we can uh, configure them if there is a configuration. Um, there's also a, a sign here which gives you information about whether this particular activity or operator is properly configured. That was a short introduction to the graph editor. Um, please review the help text and uh, enjoy playing with it.